Matic. Let me. Um, I, I want to. One of the comments you made in your in your testimony was that you'd reached this conclusion about the performance of then Director Comey's uh, ability to lead the FBI. That you agreed with um, uh, Deputy Attorney General Rosenstein's memo. The fact that you'd worked with Director Comey for some time. Did you ever have a conversation as a superior of Director Comey with? his failure to perform or some of these ac accusations that he wasn't running the FBI in a good way or that somehow the FBI was is in turmoil. Did you have any conversations with Director Comey about those subjects? I did not. So you were his, his superior and there were some fairly harsh things said about Director Comey. Um, you never thought it was appropriate to raise those concerns before he was actually terminated by the president. Uh, I did not do so. Uh, a um, memorandum was prepared by the deputy attorney general uh, who evaluated his form performance, noted some serious problems with it. One of, and you agreed with those uh, I agreed with those. In fact, uh, Senator Warner, we had talked about it even before I was confirmed and before he was confirmed. It's something that we both agreed to that a fresh start at the FBI was probably the best thing. It just again seems a little, I could understand that if you talked about that before you came on, you had a chance for a fresh start, there was no fresh start, suddenly we're in the midst of the investigation and with timing that seems a little peculiar, the, what kind of, to, at least to me, was out of the blue, the President fires the FBI director, and if there are all these problems of disarray and a lack of, of uh, uh, esprit de court, the FBI, all things that the acting director of the FBI denied is the case, I would have thought that somebody would have had that kind of conversation with Director Comey, who was at least been 